Thanks for staying with us. Now, talking is an amazing skill one can have. Some have argued that the best way one can earn money through talking is by talking, I mean, taking your talk to an online platform or platforms. As you know, owning a YouTube channel, streaming via Facebook, Watch, Periscope, is as, the same as owning a TV channel. And if people like, um, if people like what you are saying, you can make tons of money through ads and promos you know, that comes up on your videos. Now, COVID-19 came and everyone is online. However, how many of us are earning money from our talk? Now, please let us hear what you are saying. You can join this conversation, tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wage Africa one with the hashtag Waze or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 Okay, okay, I'll come back to you first. You're the professional speaker here. <laughs> how much have you made to speak in? Honestly, I have, I've rarely made money speaking because I have not focused on it. And that's why I was really excited when we're talking about it today to say, oh, this is a topic for me. I really need to start monetizing, you know, my talks. And I, and I do give a lot of them, although some of them I volunteer because it's also the way to, my way of helping people, sharing experiences that I've gathered over the years to help anybody. It's usually my passion, but mm -hmm. you know, this show is for me. So before the end of this show, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, Uti. So, what's your experience like talking? Because Uti can talk for ah, Africa. Uti is the oh. professional. You should call Uti the professional. <laughs> Uti is the professional. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you know, I say that my God-given talent is talking, right? I absolutely love to talk. I've always um, been that person that learns by teaching. So, I love to teach. I love to train. Um, so, yes, I have made money from talking. I'm not going to tell you how much I've made, but. <laughs> Um, for me, talking is life. Like literally, if you left me, I've been on a phone call before for 17 hours. Oh my God. So Uti, if I could monetize Uti, my talking as much female? as I talk, I think me, I'll be up there with Bill Gates. <laughs> Uti, was it a male or a female? Your 17 hours talk. Confess. It was with my sister. Okay. Uh, no, actually, no. Sorry. <laughs> my, no, no, no. Actually, it, it was with a guy. My sister's conversation, I think it was like 11 hours. So no, it was actually with a like, guy. It has to be a guy that would win the trophy. Well done, <laughs> sister. Thank you. No, but, but on a serious note, um, because when COVID-19 happened, all of a sudden I noticed everyone was going online, creating YouTube channels, creating different platforms. Everybody took their business, their craft to um, the online space. And you know, the truth is about that space, you can become anything you want to be. Yes, and well, you can also be was, lost. Yes. How many of us are passing the right message and how many of us actually understand the strategies to speak in? Because it's not just enough for you to talk. You know, people must like what you are saying. They must, must have like, content. Yes, they must love what you're saying and they, th that keeps them on your page. Now, some people have gotten it right. Some people, they're still a bit shaky. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just wondering, like, you know, how do I turn my voice? And must everybody that have a voice, must you speak you know, with that, I mean, must you earn money with that voice? I don't know. Okay, so for me, I would say understanding your psychographics and demographics. And by that, what, what do I mean? Because no matter how good you are, you can't appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't appeal to everybody. But looking for your audience and finding out who they are and what they like, who are something that is rubbish to you, maybe something to a lot of people at a certain age that live in a certain place. So, and we've been so blessed to have things like Google Analytics, you know, Instagram, everyone is just giving you an analytics of the kind of people that come to your page. Now, everybody has the right to talk. Mm. That's the truth. Everybody has the right to own an Instagram um, TV or anything. But just as you said, again, it depends on what you intend to do with that platform. It will fizzle out. You know, everybody running. If you check, it has reduced the, lot, um, the live yeah, videos. Yeah, it has you dropped you, you, It has dropped. And so you can't just keep at it forever. But your content, mm. really, and then also your perseverance to pass that message. Absolutely. You see people starting with maybe 10 people listening to them for over a couple of years. Some people that you think they have blown, they've been there for a long mm. time, being consistent and passing on their message. And I'm really glad that our, our speaker today is, is very experienced and he, he will take us through. Absolutely. Uti, you want to add something before we bring in our so, guests? No, I mean, yeah, I was just going to say that the knowledge industry, so when you talk about putting uh, an income to your voice, we've seen a boom in the knowledge industry. I can't count. I've lost track of the amount of memes I've seen mm -hmm. about um, motivational speakers and, and all of that. So 
there are multiple industries within which you can you know monetize your voice whether it's from a thought leadership point of view as, as a tra trainer a teacher a uh, motivational speaker or you know a compare i mean even look at the the, the comedy the space of the comedians comedy yes. is a huge thing now in nigeria so there are multiple ways to monetize yeah. your voice obviously during the lockdown everybody was stuck at home people were looking for ways to monetize their their their, their um, offerings and doing that online was the easiest way to go Exactly. So we did see a huge spike in webinars and, and, you know, everybody was pitching something. And there is a niche for everything. Absolutely. I mean, you literally need to go onto YouTube and just Google. The other day I was trying to figure out how to take rust off one of my pots. And I Googled and I couldn't imagine, I couldn't believe how many videos, videos I saw exactly. of people teaching you how to take rust off your pots. So there is a space for everyone. You just need to find your niche, be knowledgeable about what you're talking about, create content that people can connect with and um, the sky's the limit. I mean, absolutely. YouTube. You know, interesting. <clears throat> I was watching um, a business news, um, I think two days ago, and they talked about telecoms, you know, the amount of money those people have wrecked in this period, you know, well, you because know. people are constantly on their mobile um, gadgets, Device. you know, so there's a lot of money while every other person is crying that I'm, I'm not making money. The telecoms company actually, recorded an obscene i can't even remember how much it was but it was obscene you know because everybody is buying data everybody's buying you know they're communicating and all of that so we'll bring in our guest now <clears throat> oladele olunike is the highly celebrated high in demand and multi-award winning international speaker executive and business transformation coach and an accomplished master of ceremonies he believes that effectiveness begins with you what you want to do easily you must first do diligently i love that now over the spanning 22 to 23 years of his career and business oladele has studied widely honed deeply and mastered excellently and continues to the art of helping individuals professionals executive business leaders and multinationals to make more money save more money promote their brands and increase their market share. Now, it's an honor to have you, the quintessential polymath. <laughs> polymath, Oladele. Thank you for joining us this evening. Is it Thank there? you for the honor and privilege to be on your show. I am delighted to be here. Thank you for the opportunity to serve with you tonight. All right, so <clears throat> let's just jump right into the conversation because we have a lot of questions for you. Um, AK was talking, and I think I want to start from that point of um, going back to go and get proper. When you see that you are blessed with the gift of or the talent of talking, as in um, naturally, you have that gift. Do you require to get trained, or is this something that you just get up and you start the business of talking to earn money from it? Thank you very much for that very, very practical question. Let me say that when I began speaking from the age of 12, the school play was the plot where I cut my teeth in speaking, public speaking, and acting simultaneously. But you see, what I did for fun at the age of 12 I did not know that it was the beginning of an eventful, impactful, and fulfilling career in speaking and in acting. Hmm. At the time, all I was armed with was talent. Hmm. Over the years, I will go on to obtain meritoriously my first degree in land surveying and photogrammetry from the university. Upon graduation, additional postgraduate degrees here and there, certifications. It wasn't in until the course of that time that I realized that all the compares I've been doing for Christmas party, birthdays for family, cousins and friends, <laughs> that could actually be converted to money. Hmm. But I noticed one deficit. All I had was talent. I suddenly realized that talent is not enough. Hence, I stumbled on what I developed over time, which I call the four equations of talent. 
and I'll take you through it quickly. So your, your talent is not enough. Somebody will say, well, I don't have a talent. It is either you have a talent or you have an interest. Mm. So if you don't have a talent, you are not at disadvantage. You could have an interest. Mm. But whether it is talent you have or it is an interest you have, the two of them can fit into these four equations of talent I'm about to reel out. Equation number one. Talent, ordinarily, talent should bring you treasure. But this is equation number one. Talent minus, and I'd like you to write it as though you're writing arithmetic so that you can understand it. Yeah. Talent minus training equals to trash. Ew. <laughs> equation number one of talent. Okay. So no matter the talent you have, mm. if it is not taken through the crucible of training, you are like a nation that has a natural resource called crude oil that has a potential of giving you petrol, diesel, kerosene, all the work, several other products. Yes. But you stayed with crude oil earning the basest of earnings, whilst other people who are smart, who have put their thinking cap to work, which figuratively, figuratively in this context is training, now have several products mm. from the same product you have, which is crude oil. So number one equation is talent minus training equals to trash. Number two, talent plus training equals to treasure. So indeed, the treasure you're looking for needs to be act out through training your talent. Absolutely. Number three equation, somebody will say, well, I have some training. Bravo. When I realized that I had certification in other fields, but I had interest and passion in acting, writing, and speaking. And nobody in a country like Nigeria that is certificate inclined. And there is nothing wrong about certificate. So nobody will hire me in acting, writing, and speaking. So I had to go back to school and began to train in the areas of my interest, in the area of my talent. So in the last 22 to 23 years, for me, Every year, I have done a skills audit of what are our competitors doing in the game globally that we are not doing. Why are they earning a certain figure that we are not earning? And I don't indulge in pity party. I hold myself responsible. I say to myself, well, Adele, your colleague is earning so, so much that you are not earning because there's something you know that you don't know. Mm. So I do skills audit upon the skills audit the learning gaps, we now find the courses, the trainings, the workshops that we need to go for. So in the last uninterrupted 22 to 23 years, since I had my first degree, I have taken minimum of a course, a training, a workshop every year. Mm -hmm. So number three equation, talent plus training minus trading <laughs> equals toiling. Okay. So it's not enough for you to have a trained talent that you put under your pillow, <laughs> that you put under your centerpiece, that you put on the shelf in your study, or you lock up in your laptop and you open occasionally to show friends. You know, when you go to the studies of some people in their homes, you see a very large shelf of books. Ask, ask them how many have they read. I learned long ago from one of my mentors that if all we know is all we have done, our lives would have been better than this. Mm -hmm. So talent plus training minus trading. What is trading? Putting what you've learned doing, to that's work. Doing Why? Yeah. Because, because what you know will make you grow. But what you know that you don't do gets nothing done. Hmm. In the 21st century global business world that you and I live in today, there is so much knowledge, but there is very little doing hmm. and little winnings. Yeah. Hmm. Commensurable to the volume of knowledge available. So what you know will make you grow. 
The more you know, the more you will grow. But what you know that you don't do gets nothing done. Mm. So the doing culture is the winning culture. Mm. Number four, equation of talent. Talent plus training plus trading. How do you feel, Asayuame, when you receive a credit bank alert? Oh my gosh, I feel <laughs> heavenly. What feeling do you feel? <laughs> so, <laughs> talent plus training plus trading equals to profiting. Hmm. And if you like, you want to use the street language, alert. So, talent is not enough. Hmm. Interest is not enough if you must turn your voice to income. Hmm. Very critical, very crucial, and very vital. Oh. Okay, so uh, because we are going to go on a short break... <laughs> That was just one question. <laughs> you know what? Because we're going to go on a short break. Every time when people say, you know, I want to speak professionally to earn money, people always feel like I must sound like uh, TM. You're you just trying to steal Please. my question. Oh, okay, that was okay. That was your question. question. Oh, yeah, quickly, quickly, quickly. Was, how do you find your personal style? Because we have a lot of people copying people. For example, Obama. Everyone wants to talk like Obama or look for someone that they idolize. Like I do you, and then want to speak like you. So, how do you Thank find you. your personal style to define yourself in this sea of different people? Like we spoke on the internet, for example. So, how do you find that personal style? Thank you for, for that very practical question, Akanimo. You know, that takes us back to the very, very contextual and strategic word in the topic of today turning your voice into income. So, it begins with your voice. The reason why people are copying other people is because they have not found their voice. Mm. I must quickly mention so that we don't assume that our audience all over the world watching us or those who will watch after this session to think that all of them understand the context of voice. What is the voice? The voice of the speaker is the announcer of the speaker. <laughs> The voice of the speaker is like the public address system that announces the speaker. I learned from one of my mentors, a renowned thought leader, international inspirational speaker, a fellow of the Royal Society of Art of England, honored by Her Majesty, the Queen of England, Mr. Richmond Dyer Johnson. God rest he often soul. tells me, God rest his soul. He often tells me, Oladili, when you open your mouth to speak, you introduce yourself to the world, end of quote. In other words, it therefore means your voice is your announcer. Mm. And I dare say, when you open your mouth to speak, you introduce yourself to the world, make it a great introduction. Mm. So the reason why many people are struggling at the base of the pyramid that is crowded, trying to copy and paste or cut and paste or some will want to dignify the art by saying modeling others is because they have not found their voice. Mm -hmm. In addition to the fact that you've got to know that your voice is your announcer, the greatest asset of any speaker is his voice. Why? Because your voice is the signature of your identity. Mm. Your voice is the signature of your personality. So when your voice is lost, your identity is lost. Absolutely. For instance, a scenario where in the home, the father is in the study, the mother is in the bedroom, the first daughter is in the kitchen, and the second daughter is in the bedroom. Now, the father and the mother did not know when the first daughter went to the kitchen. But when the first daughter spoke and said, Kenny, please bring me my phone, the mother in the bedroom who recognized the voice, that, that, is their, that was their first daughter, the father in the study who recognized that that was their first daughter, why? Because the voice of the speaker is the identity signature of the speaker. Hmm. And the voice of the speaker is the speaker's identity. Absolutely. So when you lose your voice, you lose your identity. Hmm. If you don't find your voice, you wouldn't find your identity. Hmm. You will be going around masquerading in the toga of other people's hmm. identity. And as long as you continue to do that, trust me, you are very far from turning your voice Just to income. Okay. So it begins first with finding your voice. Absolutely. You know what? We're going to go on a very <laughs> quick break. <laughs> we'll be right back. Please stay with us.